It happened again. Freshman Congresswoman Katie Porter did it again. She is a freshman Democrat in the House of Representatives who you have met on this program before. And for the last couple of months, Washington lobbyists have had fair warning of what they have to prepare their clients for when their clients testify before Katie Porter. Jamie Dimon is the head of J.P. Morgan Chase Bank. He makes $31 million a year. He pays Washington lobbyists millions and millions and millions of dollars to handle his lobbying interests in Washington and to prepare him specifically for things like testifying to Congress. But lobbyists cannot anticipate Katie Porter. She represents the 45th congressional district in California with Irvine as her biggest city. And so she began her questioning of Jamie Dimon this way. I went to Monster.com and I found a job in my hometown of Irvine at J.P. Morgan Chase. It pays $16.50 an hour. The lobbyists never saw that one coming. Katie Porter then did the math on what that income would be on an annual basis and for a hypothetical job applicant who is a single mother with one child, that job would leave her with $29,100 a year after taxes. Jamie Dimon is no doubt good at math, but he's not used to working with such tiny numbers. And so Katie Porter laid out what the financial life looks like of someone getting an entry level job in the company where Jamie Dimon makes $31 million. She had $2,425 a month. She rents a one-bedroom apartment. She and her daughter sleep together in the same room. In Irvine, California, that average one-bedroom apartment is going to be $1,600. She spends $100 on utilities, take away the $1,700, and she has net $725. She's like me. She drives a 2008 minivan and has gas, $400 for car expenses and gas, net $325. The Department of Agriculture says a low-cost food budget, that is ramen noodles, a low food budget is $400. That leaves her $77 in the red. She has a Cricut cell phone, the cheapest cell phone she can get for $40. She's in the red, $117 a month. She has after-school childcare because the bank is open during normal business hours. That's $450 a month. That takes her down to negative $567 per month. My question for you, Mr. Diamond, is how should she manage this budget shortfall while she's working full time at your bank? And then Jamie Diamond deflected the question a bit, and then his answer finally came down to, I don't know. That she's short 567. What would you suggest she do? I, I don't know. I'd have to think about that. Would you recommend that she take out a J.P. Morgan Chase credit card? and run a deficit? I don't know, I'd have to think about it. Would you recommend that she overdraft at your bank and be charged overdraft fees? I don't know, I'd have to think about it. Katie Porter gave Jamie Dimon all the time in the world and it never occurred to him that maybe, maybe he could pay that worker an extra $567 a month. It never occurred to him that maybe he could take $567 a month less in income so that a struggling worker at the bottom of his payroll could survive. If questions like this were on the SATs, Jamie Dimon would not be sitting where he's sitting today. Katie Porter was asking a math question and a humanity question rolled into one and Jamie Dimon and his lobbyists flunked. Katie Porter persisted until Jamie Dimon became speechless. She's still short $567, as are all of your employees in Irvine, California. Any ideas? Nope. Okay, moving on. And we're going to move on to Congresswoman Katie Porter after this break. I'd love to call up and have a conversation about her financial affairs and see if we can be helpful. See if you can find a way for her to live on less than the minimum that I've described. Just be helpful. Well, I appreciate your desire to be helpful, but what I'd like you to do is provide a way for families to make ends meet. And joining us now from Irvine, California, is Congresswoman Katie Porter, a freshman Democrat who rep represents California's 45th district. And Congresswoman Porter, I have a feeling that if Jamie Dimon called up a worker at the bottom of the pay scale at his bank, uh, making $16.50 an hour, and tried to discuss how, to how that uh, worker could better manage their finances, I think the worker's very, very first suggestion would be, 
um, you could pay me more. Absolutely. I mean, if Chase would do what Bank of America has done, which is commit to raising its minimum pay to $20 an hour, that would entirely erase the shortfall in the hypothetical that I gave Mr. Diamond. So the answer was right there, sitting there for him. And he said he'd have to think about it. Um, he said that several times, I'd have to think about it. I hope he is thinking about it in these upcoming days and that he makes a change that will help the lives of his thousands of employees around the country. You know, I couldn't help thinking about all the exams that we've all gone through, and you've gone through many more than I have uh, since you went to law school, Harvard Law School, with Elizabeth Warren as one of your professors. Uh, you then became a law school professor yourself. <laughs> and the answer to this question that you were giving him was just hanging right out there, and it, 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 he couldn't find it. You simply raise that person's pay, which, was, which he's completely empowered to do. Yeah, no, I mean, it's interesting to wonder. I mean, he's obviously a very bright man. He's a successful CEO. He's, you know, highly compensated at $31 million. He's the head of the Business Roundtable, which is the uh, lobbying kind of advocacy organization for the nation's largest businesses. You would think that investing in his own employees would be clear to him as a solution to this problem. So I have to wonder whether he didn't think of it or he simply doesn't want to invest in those that are help that are those folks who are helping make it possible for JP Morgan Chase to make record profits. How did you arrive at this line of questioning? Because I have to say, if I was a lobbyist trying to prepare Jamie Dimon, I don't think I would have thought of this as, as I, I've got to prepare him for this. Well, you know, one of the benefits I have is I'm new to Congress, so I am out in the real world. I, I'm a normal, I'm a single mom myself. So I go to the grocery store. I go on Wednesdays when I can because it's double coupon day. I understand what it's like. I do drive a 2008 minivan, just like I posed in the hypothetical. And so I think what we're hearing from the freshman class is a lot of people with real world experiences and real life experiences who are in touch with what it's like to be an everyday American. And Mr. Diamond clearly is not in touch with that. That reality. Congresswoman Katie Porter representing the real world and the 45th district. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from the last word and the rest of MSNBC.